You know already that Microsoft OneNote is a great tool for taking notes. In most cases this means typing. However, Microsoft OneNote offers a really nice functionality allowing you to record speech and have it transcribed to text. In order to record speech and have it transcribed to text, go to the Insert menu and click Transcribe and pick Transcribe from the drop-down list that appears there. Before transcribing you will have to define what language is being used, otherwise OneNote may not be able to transcribe what it hears correctly. You then have two options. If you have some pre-recorded audio, you can simply upload it by clicking on Upload Audio and picking the right file. However, if you want to transcribe a live recording, you can click on Start Recording. OneNote will then open a new page in the pane to the right and start recording. It will use your default microphone and the recording will start immediately. You can pause the recording at any time by clicking on the round microphone button. If you want to resume your recording, just click the button again. When you are ready with your recording and want to get it transcribed, click on Save and Transcribe now. Please remember that transcription is done on Microsoft servers in the cloud, so whatever is recorded here is sent through the Internet to Microsoft, so you have to ensure that you have consent from each and every person that is recorded. Microsoft reminds you about it by displaying a small note at the bottom of the screen. When you click on Save and Transcribe now, OneNote will send the recording to Microsoft servers to have it processed there. It will then add a link to the recording to your notes and will display playback controls to the right. If you want to listen to your recording, just click on the play button. Your recording will be stored on your OneDrive. Microsoft OneNote tries identifying if there are various speakers being recorded, so you will see your recording marked with speaker 1 or subsequent speaker numbers. Below the recording in the pane on the right hand side of the screen, OneNote will also display the text that is recognized. At the bottom of the pane you have the Add to Page button. If you click on it you will have four options of how the text that has been recognized should be added to your notes. Only the text, the text with speakers, the text with timestamps and the text with both speakers and timestamps. When you pick any of these options, the related text will be added to your notes and marked with a transcript header. The other button at the bottom of the pane on the right hand side of the screen is New Transcription. When you click on it, OneNote will display a warning message informing that you can only store one transcript per page and that if you create a new transcript on the current page, where there already is a transcript, then the current transcript will be removed. If you want to keep the current transcript, you should create a new page in OneNote. Interestingly enough, if you click OK, you will be able to make a new recording, exactly as in the previous case. You will also be able to make a transcript of the recording and add it to your notes. You will also be able to access your previously recorded files on your OneDrive. However, in the pane on the right hand side of the screen, you will only be able to access your latest recording, so it is here where the limitation that Microsoft warn about shows. Consequently, it is advisable to always create a new page before making a new recording. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of how to use the transcribe functionality in Microsoft OneNote. Be sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.